In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to establish an insecure connection using OPC between two data hubs. Next, I will show you how to establish a secure connection. In this example, I will be connecting locally to an OPC DA server and converting that to OPC UA, which will be read by a second data hub acting as the OPC UA client. Let's jump right into the demo. We need to start by establishing a connection to my OPC DA server. So if I pull down my dropdown, I can see a list of all the servers I have. I'm going to connect to the top server, call this top server. I'll do a read rate of one second, and I'm going to load all the items on the server because I don't have a, you know, I have a couple hundred items. So, uh, you know, if you have hundreds of thousands of items or even tens of thousands of items, um, you might want to, um, you might want to load or excuse me, manually select the items. Okay, let's click OK here, and we can see it's configuring. If we click the Apply button, it will establish a connection. Okay, so we got that done. Now we're connected to our DA server. We can see here, let's just verify that we have good quality data and the data is changing. That's what we'd expect. Now, this data hub here is going to act as a UA server, okay? Um, so we don't need to do anything else on this data hub. What I can do now is bring this over here. I'm actually gonna make this full screen so it's easier to read. And the first thing we're going to do is establish a UA client connection to my UA server. So if I click Add, um, the discovery domain, that's really just the computer that you're trying to connect to. 008 is my laptop. And if I use the drop down, it's discovered three different ways we can connect via UA to my data hub. I'm going to connect using the first option. The first way I want to connect is using no security to show you how easy it can be to insecurely connect to UA clients. There's no DCOM, there's no configuration. If we test the connection, it should just work. And in this case, we have OKs across the board. That means it will work. Click OK here, click OK here. Actually, we need to load all the nodes on the server. Sorry about that. Um, click OK and apply. We could see that the status went to running immediately, which means we do have a connection to that to that data. Um, if I look here, here's all my data from my um, remote connection. If I expand, let me make this bigger here. If I expand this, you can see that same data changing. Okay, so we've easily made an insecure UA connection. Okay, great. How can we secure that connection? That's the next step. So, first thing we want to do is we're going to use the security policy of BASIC 128, and we're going to use the token type of my certificate. Now, when I test this connection, it shouldn't work, um, and that's because both the client and the server don't know about each other's certificates yet. So, let's just test it. The first thing that just happened was we were returned from the server, which is the data hub running on my machine, this data hub right here, sent its security certificate to this remote data hub. It says it's untrusted. The reason is it's a self-signed certificate. So we're gonna accept that certificate. At this point, the client has accepted the server certificate but the server has not accepted the client certificate. So you can see we've still failed the connection, okay? I'm going to just minimize this so it's obvious where, where we are. If we go here, you can see we have a rejected certificate. So the client has shared its certificate with Data Hub, but Data Hub by default is secure and will not just accept any certificate. If we go to Manage Certificates, you can see here, this is the computer that I'm wanting to connect to, so what I'll do is I'll just accept that, okay? Now, if I go back to my data hub and start the test again, the test succeeded, so we should be all set. If we could click OK, 
click apply, it's going to disconnect and reconnect in a secure fashion. So now that we're running again, let's click view data. Of course, we should see the data changing again, which we do, nice and easy. Now, I'm going to undo those security certificates. Uh, before I do that, I want to uncheck this. Perfect. Um, go to manage certificates. Let's find the certificate uh, for my laptop, and we're going to remove it. Okay. On the same token, we're going to go to the Data Hub UA server side and manage the certificate. Find the same, the one for the this machine here, and we're going to delete it. Okay. There is another option for how to make a secure connection that's easier. Um, especially if you have multiple clients or servers that you're trying to connect to. So let's show you that. On the server side, if we go to advanced, let me move this over so you can see, there is a checkbox that says automatically accept untrusted certificates. Let's do that. We're going to accept the warning. We don't want to keep this on forever. This, isn't, this is something we're going to use while establishing the connection and exchanging the certificates, and then we're going to turn it back off again. So if we click OK, we also need to click Apply. Now let's maximize this, and we will go to this configuration here. I'm going to reject this for now, and I'll tell you why. I wanted to also check this box here that says always accept invalid server certificates. Okay. So let's do that. Let's go to manage and let's delete this rejected certificate. Okay, because I want to I want this to go from scratch. So if we click on and hit apply, notice the connection went to running. We didn't have to accept anything on this side. If we go to manage certificates and we check, we have my laptop's security certificate. Now on the other side, on the server side, we see here we have a temporary certificate. Temporary certificates are deleted out of the temporary certificate store when the data hub stops. So we need to either accept this now or expect that it will happen again next time. So in this case, we're gonna accept it, yes. And if we go and manage it, we can now see that in my private certificates, that certificate's back, and that's what we wanted. Now, you could connect as many clients as you wanted to this Data Hub server, accept all of their temporary certificates, and then the last thing you got to do is go back and uncheck the automatically accept untrusted certs, click apply, and we will want to do the same thing on this end as well. So edit, okay, apply. In this OPC UA demo, I've showed you how to establish an insecure connection using Data Hub UA. And then I showed you two methods on how to create a secure connection. One is more of the manual way of accepting certificates. Uh, and then the second is automatically accepting them and then removing that security vulnerability once you've got everything configured and working the way you want it.